this video is all about the hypersensitive response test uh, which is quite routinely performed in plant pathology laboratories all over the world the hypersensitive response is also known as hr is a kind of defense mechanism shown by the uh, resistant uh, plant cell when they are invaded by the a virulent pathogen uh, the plant cell uh, which is invaded by the pathogen commit a suicide and as a result of that the pathogen present in the cell also die due to the unavailability of the nutrient this is the most uh, common or, or routine test uh, performed by the pathologist in order to check whether the plant is resistant or susceptible and it is believed that those varieties or the plant which show the hypersensitive response or HR are the most resistant one. There is a similar uh, kind of reaction uh, shown by the animals and it is and that is known as program cell death or PCD. Uh, and many people uh, think that the hypersensitive response is actually a form of program cell death. Uh, in case of animals, if the program cell death fail to occur, it could lead to many diseases such as the cancer. So the next part of the video is uh, about the historical background of hypersensitive response and also how we, uh, we can perform it in the uh, laboratory, what would be the requirements and what uh, would be the purposes as well as uh, we also talk about the uh, potential outcomes of the hypersensitive response test. Hypersensitive response or HR first time discovered in the plants by Elvin S. Dackman in 1915 while working on the cereal rust. He observed that those varieties which show the HR are resistant one and those varieties which unable to show HR the susceptible one. So there is a correlation exist between the resistance and the hypersensitive uh, sensitivity. Uh, more than 100 years passed, but still this test is uh, performed uh, in plant pathology in order to judge uh, the resistance or the susceptibility of the plant. So from here you can gauge how important this test in plant disease resistance. The basic purpose of HR test in plant pathology is uh, remained same in order to see whether the plant or the plant variety is resistant or not. But later on the plant pathologist also uh, perform HR uh, to know whether the plant is uh, host or non-host. Similarly, uh, in order to know whether the unknown microorganism is pathogenic in nature or not, HR test is performed and sometime uh, the pathologist in order to know whether the pathogen is a virulent or the virulent HR test is uh, performed. So uh, uh, the HR test is performed uh, for a number of uh, purposes but the most important still remains same in order to know whether the plant a variety or the plant is resistant or susceptible against the particular pathogen. The requirements of this test uh, are quite simple. You need a healthy tobacco plant. Uh, we should not be too old. A fresh uh, bacterial culture, uh, it would be better if it is just 24 hour old uh, and sterilized distal water, syringe and a permanent mark. Uh, this slide uh, shows you how the HR is performed in the lab. Uh, this is our former student and he is performing HR test on the tobacco plant. Uh, it is always advisable uh, to mark the area where the uh, pathogen is going to be injected uh, before starting the work, especially if you are new one. Uh, the intervenal abaxial uh, side of the leaf is selected for the HR. 
in in this test uh, the injection of simple sterilized water is considered as negative control while the injection of uh, bacterial pathogen inside the leaf is considered as positive control uh, the only precaution is that uh, the water or the inoculum must be spread inside the leaf so that a water soak condition is created and there should be no uh, running of uh, inoculum on the leaf or falling of inoculum from the leaf on the bench so if it is not uh, happened then it means that you successfully injected the pathogen inside the uh, tobacco plant now leave the plant uh, under the disease favorable condition means the temperature and the humidity required by the pathogen for at least 24 hours uh, before the observation of the appearance of HR on the tobacco plant. Here is the possible uh, outcome of the HR test. If you look at the negative control, you can see a green area. Although this uh, point shows that the water is injected but this water don't produce any kind of symptoms it means that the plant not went uh, to any kind of uh, suicide uh, that is why no death of the plant cells took place but if you look at the left and the right side you can see a brown dead area it means here you injected the uh, pathogen and the plant detected it and went to the suicide and as a result of that the tissue become dead and when the tissue become dead the pathogen inside also become dead so these two spots uh, show you that the tobacco plant uh, give the HR it means either the tobacco plant is resistant or it is non-host and the pathogen is either a virulent or the uh, the unknown microorganism is pathogenic in nature so for all these uh, observation hr test is performed and uh, this help us to understand or to gauge whether the plant is resistant or it is susceptible whether the, path, the unknown microorganism is pathogenic or it is non-pathogenic in nature. I hope at this point you have a very uh, brief and good idea about what is HR, uh, what its background, how it is performed in the lab and what kind of results you can, can get by performing HR test in the laboratory. Thank you.